fraction how to calculate the WAC, the weighted average cost of capital. In this video, we're going to learn how to do it with two simple examples. Let's start. First of all, what is the WAC? Well, remember, when a company needs money, they can do it by either issuing bonds or they can actually do it by giving stocks. The bonds are actually related to debt and the stocks are related to equity. So that, that is the difference between them. So how do we calculate the WAC? First, let's understand. The WAC is just the average rate of raising money. A company wants to know how much it's gonna cost to get that money with debt and with equity. So this is why the WAC has the following component. First of all, the cost of debt how much is going to cost or actually the yield of maturity when they give bonds. Remember, in another video, we talk about this cost of debt. Today, we're just going to do the basics of the WAC. Then, the other component that we have is the cost of equity. How much is going to cost the stock? Now, don't forget, the equity can come as a common stock or can also be done as preferred stock. Remember, these are these uh, two different stocks. Uh, the preferred stock has no voting rights, but if the company goes bankrupt, they get their money first. So let's do an example so we can understand this. For example, if I want to figure out the WAC, I need to use this formula. Let's understand. All right, WD means the weight of debt, how much debt I'm putting. RD is the cost of debt. 1 minus t is just basically going to be the tax, um, the after cost of debt after tax. Don't worry about it, we're going to do an example. Then I have the equity. This is going to be the weight of equity times the return on equity. Now, if I have preferred stock, this formula, it is exactly the same, but look, I'm just adding this little piece here. Therefore, the WAC is going to be the average rate of how much does it cost to raise money between debt and between equity. Let's do an example. Finally, for example, a company wants to raise money. The company will sell 10 million of common stock. The expected return is 15%. Moreover, the company will issue 5 million of debt and the cost of debt is 12%. They tell me the tax rate is 30%. Find the WAC. It's actually a very funny word. <laughs> so let's do it. How do we do it? Okay. Let's go ahead and break down this problem. First of all, I need to figure it out the weight of debt and the weight of equity. Let's figure it out first the total value of the company. Well, remember, these people want to sell 10 million of common stock. And also, they're going to have 5 million of debt. The total value is going to be 15 million. So now I can easily do the weight of debt is going to be 5 divided by the total. That's 0.33 or 33%. And the weight of equity is just going to be 10 over 15. Don't forget, this plus this needs to give me 100, or in this case, 1. So now that I figure it out, the weight of debt and the weight of equity, let's see what else do I need to do. I have the weight of debt. I also know that the rate of debt or the cost of debt is going to be what? Well, here they tell me that the cost of debt is 12%. The tax rate, which is going to be T, is going to be 0.3. Look, I'm putting everything in decimal form just to make it easier. Remember the equity when we did 10 divided by 15 was actually 0.67. And finally, the, um, the return of equity is 0.15. All right, let's put it into the formula. W, uh, WD is going to be 0 0.33. RD is going to be 0 0.12. This piece here that will give us the after cost of tax is going to be 1 minus 0 0.30 plus 0 0.67 times 0 0.15. Awesome. Once we do all this, we put our calculations and we get the WAC is 0.1282 or actually 12.82%. Awesome, let's do another problem. I know these things are a pain in the neck, but we need to know how to do it. 
Okay, so let's say that we have another example. I'm giving you the, exactly the same example, but I'm telling you that the company is actually also going to have $3 million in preferred stock at a rate of 9%. All right, let's find out the why. As you can see here now, I have three components. I have the preferred stock, the equity, and debt. So the first thing I need to do is the value of the company. Well, remember, you have 10 million of common stock. I have 3 million in preferred stock. And I also have 5 million of debt. So that gives me a total of 18. Guys, I do exactly the same. I do the weight. Well, remember, 5 over 18 gives me 0.28. Then the cost was the same. Now look here, I did 10 over 18. And then look, I just added that weight of preferred stock, which is 3 over 18. When I plug it into my formula, I get the weight of debt times the cost of debt, then the tax plus um, the equity times the return of equity. And then look, I put the piece of the preferred stock. Finally, I get 0.1219 or my WAC, which is 12.19%. And that's it. Now, the WAC can get a little bit complicated because sometimes they just give you a huge problem. We're going to be doing another problems in another video, but this is just to teach you the basics of the WAC. It is a pain in the neck. I'm not going to lie to you, but we have to learn it. You did an amazing job today. Thank you so much. Don't forget to watch our other videos and also to